What's going on guys, Clint here. Welcome back to the channel, Code Commerce. And in this video, we're going to be creating this simple clock and vanilla JavaScript. As you can see, it's updating in real time. So if you wanna see how I built this from start to scratch, it's gonna be a pretty quick video, maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm already in the directory I'm gonna be working in, just this js-clock folder. So let's go ahead and create a file. I'm gonna call it index.html. And you guys, this is we're gonna do all of this inside of our index.html file, okay? I'm not gonna need an external style sheet. I'm not gonna need any um, a, another uh, JavaScript file. Like I said, we're gonna put all of this in the index.html file. So let's go ahead and give this a uh, title. I'm gonna say JS clock, and I'm gonna use this live server extension. It's pretty awesome. Basically just lets you have a, um, a live view of all the updates in your HTML file. So here we are. And what we want to do first is um, let's go ahead and add in our HTML. And you guys, I'm gonna put some timestamps below. To, so feel free to skip around to the JavaScript, to the CSS part, or, or whichever part you would like to see. So First, what we want to do is for our, um, we're gonna create a div here. And instead of just typing this out, this is some pretty cool shortcuts you can use with Emmet. So we, what we want is a div with an ID of clock and also a class of clock. So what we're gonna say, we're gonna say ID clock, then also uh, class of clock, there we go. And as you can see, it creates this uh, div for us with an ID of clock and also a class of clock. So nice little little time saver there. So the, the, the period is for the class and the number sign is for the ID. So we'll say, create another div with a class of bottom. And then we're gonna wanna create another div with the ID of, of day and a class of day, there we go. Perfect, and then we'll do the same thing, but call it day of week. So we'll say day of week, then also class name of day of week, just like so. And you guys, that is all of the HTML that we are going to be needing um, for this clock here. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna add, like I said, we're doing everything inside this HTML file, so we're gonna need a script tag here. So inside here, what we're gonna have is, let's go ahead and have our function. I'm just gonna say, call it show time, just like so. Gonna be an arrow function there. So we need to get the date and luckily JavaScript lets us do that with a function called new um, date. So what we're gonna say, we'll say let date and we want this equal to new date just like so. And we go ahead and console.log date and we should be able to see that here. Actually, I think we need to call our function first here. So um, we'll just call it right here. We'll say show time just like so. And now we should be able to see our date in our console, just like so. So how do we extract, um, how do we extract just the hours, just the, the minutes, the seconds? Uh, is it AM, is it PM? How are we gonna just grab, grab the day? Well, let's go ahead and do that right now, okay? So um, let's go ahead and, so we need an array here of, of our days of the week. So what I'm gonna say is let week day equal to, and again, this is gonna be an array. I'm just gonna paste it in here, you guys, um, to kind of save a little bit of time. So, but what we need basically is just the, you know, the uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And again, you know, Sunday is the first day of the week. So that's how we're laying all of that out now. So we need to do the same thing uh, to get to get the months. So let's go ahead and do that next. We'll say, we'll say let months and this is gonna be an array. And again, I'm just gonna paste those in there like so. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and again, we're doing all of this inside of our show time function here. So make sure you're within the function. What we're gonna say is let h equal to, and this is how we're gonna get our hours. We'll say date, and this is where we're grabbing. We're grabbing date here. So what we can say is date dot, we'll say get hours. And this is just a JavaScript function, you guys, that JavaScript gives us. And that's how we're gonna get the date. In fact, if we console.log, or sorry, you get hours. If we console.log h, you'll see 11. It is a currently 11 o'clock here in the US and Texas is where I'm at. So that is how we get the hours. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for the minutes and the seconds, then also their session when AM or PM. So we'll say let m equal to date dot get minutes, just like so. And we'll say, we need the S for seconds. We'll say date dot get seconds. And then we'll say let session equal to, by default, we're just gonna say AM, okay? And we're gonna add in, um, you know, how do we defer if it's AM or is it PM? Or, um, you know, let's go, let's go ahead and do that right now. So we'll say if H equals zero, we'll say H equals 
12. Okay. And then here we're going to say, if we'll say H is less or if H is greater than 12, sorry, and we'll say H equals to H minus 12. And then we'll just give our session equal change it to section equals PM. So let's go ahead and give that a save. Perfect. Now, um, how do we get our day of the week and also the day of the month? And I, you guys, I understand this might be confusing if you can't actually see it live updating on the screen. Uh, but like I said, we're going to do that part at the, um, that'll kind of be the end of our JavaScript here. So how do we get our day of the week? And again, you can console.log all of this. Sometimes it's nice to do that. So you can actually see um, what, what you're getting at any given time here. So what we're going to say is for the day of the week, we'll say let day, let day, uh, whoops. There we go. So let day of week, there we go. And this is going to be equal to weekday. And this is our, our weekday array there. So how do we get the actual day out of the, out of our weekday array? So what we're going to say is date dot get day. And this is lined up. So if you run the get day function, it's going to give you the number. And if we, we can just console.log. So it should say, day of week, it should actually say that it is Thursday because that's the, the day at the time of recording this video. Perfect. And I'm going to remove that. And also we need a way to get the, the day of the month. So let's say let day of month, call us whatever you'd like. We'll say date dot get date just like so. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So how do we actually, how are we going to format this to display it on the screen? So let's go ahead and do that right now. And I'm going to go do it below this. Make sure you're still inside of this showtime function though. Okay. So this is how we're going to kind of format our date. Um, the, you know, the, the hours, the colon, the, uh, the minutes colon, the seconds, and then is it AM or is it PM? So this is where we're going to kind of format how it's going to appear on the screen. And so we'll say let time equal to so H remember, so this is our hours. So we have our H there. And then we want to add a colon. There we go. And then next, we want to add our our um, our minutes. There we go. Then we're going to want to add another colon, then we're going to want to add our seconds, and then another uh, space here. And we want to have our session just like so perfect. So now how do we actually inject this into our HTML so we can see it on the screen? And we're going to do that with a query selector and the inner text. So let's go ahead and do that right now, just below here. So what we're going to say, we'll say document dot query selector. Okay. And then we're grabbing the clock, which is up here, if you can see, this is the clock that we're grabbing right, right there. And I guess we didn't even need to use our ID. We could just use a class name either way. So what we're going to do say is enter text. So we'll say enter text. And what we want to enter in is this time here. So we'll just say time just like so. So as you can see, there is our time is being injected into our HTML on the screen. So, but we're going to do a few more things here. We'll say, uh, when text content, so let's say document, document dot query selector. And in the side here, we're going to grab the clock again as well. And then we'll say text content equal to time. Perfect. And now we also, and you guys, this is going to be updating. I know it's not updating right now. As you can see, if you update it, you can see the change, but we want this to update in real time. And we'll get to that here in just, in just a moment. But we also want to display, um, the day is the actual date here and the day. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to need another document dot query selector, just like so. And inside here, we want to say day dot we'll say enter HTML. And then inside here, what we can say is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a separate line. It's going to be just a little bit longer. So we'll say months and we'll say date dot get month. Okay. Plus we want to give the, just a little bit of space in there. We'll say day of month plus we give a little comma there. So kind of format our, our date and we'll say date dot get full year. And these are just JavaScript functions that we can use. Perfect. There we go. So let's go ahead and give it a little space there. So that kind of looks a little bit better there. Perfect. And, uh, let's go ahead. We also want to get the, the day of the week as well. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say document dot query 
selector and we want to get the uh, day of week and we're going to enter our HTML here. So we'll say day of week, just like so. Let's go ahead and save that. Perfect. And you can see it is showing our day of the week. But now it's it's not updating uh, in real time, only when we refresh the screen. And that's a bit of an issue because we want it to actually display in um, in real time. So all we have to do, very, very easy, we're just use the set timeout function that JavaScript gives us. So we can just say set timeout. And inside here, what do we want to set this on? We want to set this on our function here. So the show time function, and then we just have to give it a time, which is going to be 1000. So if you give it 100, you can see it's refreshing every millisecond, which is very, very fast. But what we want to do is 1000. So it should refresh every second here. And as you can see, every second it refreshes and it reflects that on the screen. So you guys, that is all the HTML in the JavaScript session section of this video. I'm going to go ahead and add in some CSS. So stick around if you want to see some of that. Um, if not, thanks for watching, you know, smash the like button, but if you want to see, um, the styling, it's going to be really, really brief, probably just like about two minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead and add the styling right here. So for our styling here, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to put this above the, above the body. So just our style tag and I'm going to say background, background color. And whoops, I'm going to, I'm going to give this, um, inside of our style here, body. There we go. I'm going to say background color. And I just want to give this, we'll say black or if you use a hex code, just, uh, the six zeros. And I'm going to use that for this color here. It's kind of like a, a very, very light blue. You can use whatever color you'd like, of course. There we go. And so there you go. You see our, our color there. I want this to be in the center. So we'll say text align center. Um, we'll say, say max width. We'll say 400 pixels. Um, padding of one rim. And that should be good there. We'll say, we'll say margin, margin auto, just like so. Perfect. So next, we have the body there. So next, what we want to grab is the, the clock. And I'm going to give this a... We'll say clock. I'm going to give this a font size of four rim. So pretty big. Boom. There you go. Now next, let's grab the the day. Then also we're going to grab the day of week, just like so. And let's go ahead and give this a font size of 1.5 rem. Now for this bottom section here, let's go ahead and grab that. And we're going to display as um, we're going to display as flex. And then we'll say justify content space not around i want space between so it kind of shoves it to to opposite sides there perfect okay per good good and then we'll say align items to to not baseline sometimes these shortcuts help sometimes it, it causes a little problems and we'll say padding zero on the top and bottom and then two rem on the left and right so kind of shoves it just gives it a little bit of padding so go and save gets nice and formatted and there you have it you guys a fully functional clock and good old plain vanilla JavaScript updating in real time. So I hope you got some value out of this. If you did, smash the like button, leave me a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.